What's going on everybody? This is not a drill. We are um, we are going to be getting things ready for Hurricane Milton. Now this video is going to be annoying, okay, because it's raining and there's going to be noise. But um, check this out. So this is what I'm dealing with right now. Um, it is Monday, October 7th. And um, we have right now just a low pressure system that's been over South Florida just dumping rain. It's been raining since yesterday morning here in Florida and off and on all last week. So you can see now, here's what I'm dealing with in the backyard, okay? So we've got some flooding, which I've seen it like this before. I've even seen it a bit worse, but here's the problem. We've got Hurricane Milton in the southwestern Gulf of Mexico, and it is supposedly heading our way. We don't know if it's gonna go on the west coast of Florida north to the Big Bend, or it could potentially get uh, on the west coast in Fort Myers. If it takes a southerly route, um, it is gonna come across the state. The potential is that it's gonna hit as a category four storm. And if that happens in Fort Myers, the devastation is going to be unbelievable. Um, now, Florida is flat and low. They are directly to the west of us on the west coast. I am on the east coast here in Jupiter, Florida. That storm is not going to weaken very much as it makes its way across and uh, making matters worse, I'm gonna be on what's considered the dirty side of the storm, which is that southeastern quadrant of the storm. Uh, that's where those counterclockwise winds really start ripping um, and they tear things up. Right now, what I have to do today is, I, it's, uh, it's only Monday, this is supposed to happen on Wednesday. Right now, I just gotta check on some of the animals. Um, what I'm gonna have to do here, probably uh, in a day or two, is I'm gonna be, well, tomorrow, is, is when I'm gonna know if I'm gonna have to do some major um, removal of the animals. I'm gonna have to get all the animals kind of uh, taken out. Now, here's what makes me nervous about this cage. The big problem for me is going to be wind damage. Now, what you don't know if you don't live in hurricane prone areas, when it rains like this prior to a hurricane, the ground gets saturated. It cannot hold any more water. The trees have been in this water. Their roots have been in this water for quite some time. All these pine trees, you can see there's one leaning. That's a dead pine tree. It's actually leaning right there. Um, if these trees go down and land on my enclosure, I don't have an enclosure for these animals. I'm in trouble. It's an extremely stressful time. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going around. I know I'm gonna have to clean up the patio, patio furniture, the cushions, any tools. I gotta collect all these little trays, things like this, because what'll happen is they become projectiles um, and we don't want that. But luckily, um, there's not a lot of like debris in the yard already. So I I'm not really, the manual cleanup that I'm gonna have to do is more about the animals and that's gonna come tomorrow. Um, the other thing I worry about are these gates. I'm gonna have to throw chains around these gates. Normally, um, I try and get the gates off the hinges and lay them down and put some stuff, heavy objects on top of them. The reason I worry about these gates is because when the wind blows, you see this, they're gonna go back and forth and back and forth. And when you're dealing with about 130 mile an hour wind, these little pins, this is a very, um, this is all like custom stuff that the previous owner, he was a welder, he built, he was a machinist. So he could build this stuff. If these break, I gotta find a buddy who can weld and uh, we gotta put them back on and that's a big pain in the neck. Um, so I like to just lift them off the pins and lay them down uh, so that they don't kind of snap the hinges off and make more work from it. Let's go see what's up with the globs. We've got these pine trees here. Uh, most of the big pine trees are away from my home, which is good. I'm less concerned, believe it or not, about the house. The house is pretty strong. It's made of block, uh, and it's a strong home, and it's, it's weathered. Uh, when I first moved here in 2004, this storm weathered Francis and Jean, which were two direct hits. Um, so it's been about 19 years since Wilma in 2005, another direct hit. That was a Category 3 storm. Um, so we're kind of due, you know what I mean? We're due for a storm. It's been 19 years since I had a proper direct hit. Um, so I'd like to 
extend the uh, hurricane experience uh, to maybe 27 years, I don't know, 50 years, who knows. Right now, the tortoises, no problems. But what I'm gonna have to do is I'm probably gonna get these guys into the bunkers. Uh, they're gonna have to go, you know, I'm gonna have to lock them in there. The only thing that worries me is I've got these big pine trees and if one of them crashes onto that house, that house is gone and potentially the animals will be crushed. Um, the other thing I could potentially do is get a couple of the animals, uh, maybe, I don't know if they'll even fit in this old bunker. These bunkers I know would stand up to anything. Uh, the problem is we did not make them big enough to hold giant tortoises. They were much smaller when those boulders were, uh, when those bunkers were made. So stressful to say the least, but um, you can see water just pouring. It's, it's just a pouring down here and uh, it's stressful. These guys are gonna be fine. <clears throat> uh, I'll just put them in their shelter. Of course, the water turtles, no issues. Um, we're gonna have to go get Slinky. I'm gonna pull him from his enclosure. We're gonna bring him into a big tub <clears throat> with a lid in the garage. You know, we're gonna do things like that. Josh is hanging out, helping me out, wiring up my generator. And we'll probably, uh, we're just getting things ready, man. Um, how are we looking, brother? We're looking good. I need a piece of uh, ground wire. Oh, a ground wire. All right, where do we get that? Uh, maybe in the uh, warehouse? Or? Yeah, probably. All right, let's go. Let's go go for a walk. So, okay. It's nice when your old BMX buddies uh, become electricians to save you during these things. We have, He just put a brand new panel on the uh, house so we can properly uh, keep this place running. And now... Animals. Happy and yes, healthy. that's what we do here, man. I appreciate it, buddy. So now this warehouse is supposedly rated for 150 mile an hour winds. Uh, I'm gonna have cars in here. We're gonna have all sorts of good stuff in here. Um, we do get some leaking from the roof, the screws up here, but I'm not really worried about uh, too much problems. I won't put the animals in this one. I, I prefer to put them in the other shed it's smaller i don't think it'll i just i don't know if i i i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm just talking out loud this whole video is about me going through the preparation that i've got to uh get done but um we're gonna lock the black throats in here they're not going to be able to access the uh, outdoor sun catcher cage all the crocs are going to be fine i'm less worried about these enclosures Gators, of course, are going to be fine. I don't think we're going to get uh, water up and over these um, these uh, eight foot tall enclosures. So I'm not really worried about any kind of flooding releasing the animals at all. Say goodbye to Josh, everybody. Yeah. Hey, Thanks, you need Josh. A, you, need a, you, need a, you got a permit for that new pond? Yeah, look at that new pond we got there. I was actually thinking of taking the sump pump while I still have power and maybe getting as much of it into some of the other ponds as possible. I don't know. But um, let's go see what's up with slinks. Look at this, guys. This is about uh, six inches now. I, I can see it coming up to uh, these rocks, to be honest. But um, you can kind of see what's going on. Here's what I'm not stoked about. And I am going to do a video of me uh, collecting all the animals here. Uh, that, that'll be the next video you see on the channel. Um, basically, I'm going to be collecting the animals. We got to get all the monitors out and in boxes. Not excited about having to put hands on the croc monitors because again we, we've become such good friends and as soon as i touch them they just get annoyed so there's the female there's the male these guys are going to be bummed man um i just don't like to do that but it's going to be necessary because obviously you know i i'm not 100 percent sure i built this enclosure i don't know if i if i'm <laughs> i don't know how well it'll handle 150 mile an hour winds if that's in fact what we get uh we'll at least at, we're not going to get 150 mile an hour winds but we will wind up getting uh something in excess of 100 miles an hour um, which is incredibly substantial guys so these guys are in here i mean what i could also do is i could lock them in and i can put some screws in here and then this way, um, this thing is, you know, even if we get a breach uh, in this or it blows over, they're going to be locked inside here. Um, this is a strong box. So I think that's the approach I'm going to take unless we are getting more of a direct hit. If we're getting a direct hit in Fort Myers and it comes across the state, I am going to have to pull those animals out. And again, the next video I make, you guys will know because um, I'll have a really good idea 
of the uh, track of that storm. I am uh, trying not to get, I mean, these are waterproof boots, but they're kind of old and they uh, have been compromised over the years. Uh, we got rabbits running around here. Um, what's, it's just, look at all this, huh? Can you imagine? I mean, it's not gonna be pleasant. Now, of course, we're gonna get Slinky out. Um, this was built by Jerry, so it's much better build. Um, very, very solid. Uh, and I'm hoping that wind will pass through this uh, enclosure. So again, it's only a problem if a tree blows down on it, something like that. You know, we've got that oak tree there. Uh, it could potentially blow. But if, if the winds are gonna be coming from the Southeast, uh, it'll blow everything that way. So hopefully Slinky's enclosure uh, is okay. The real big problem, guys, is power outages. Um, you know, when the power goes out, I'm losing my incubators, I'm losing all my pumps, the water quality in the ponds is gonna get bad. We might have a fish death, I don't know. Um, so that's, that's a concern of mine. Now in, in years past, uh, when I was here uh, for my first two hurricanes that happened literally within uh, two weeks of each other, we had Hurricane Francis, she came over and dumped tons and tons and tons of rain. Um, I had a lake. This, this, none of this was here. So this whole lower back area was like this. Um, so it was, a, it was about a foot of water. So the whole backyard flooded. Uh, but again, not my home, which is good news. Um, you know, I'm looking here. I may have to, to secure some of that. Um, I'm just going to, you know, hope for the best that this doesn't, you know, become projectiles. Uh, it's kind of not near any, anyone's structures that could potentially be hurt um yeah so it's just it's it's stressful man like you see which way the water's flowing it flows off to the back here and then goes on my property line and then goes to the east so that's that's kind of what's going on there now the um the redfoot tortoises i'll probably put up uh in the shed since i can do that um the reason being is and i'm sure there's already a lot of water there uh we got dale these gators they could care less they're just super they're unbothered by hurricanes. They're gonna be fine in their, in their swamp, in their lagoon. Um, but look at this. Oh yeah, so that's, that's you know, I, I do think they'll have plenty of high and dry area. But what I am now thinking about, guys, what I am concerned about are these pumps. And the pumps are off, and I think they're off because my buddy's working on the uh, He's working on the actual uh, electric, so that's why they're off. Okay, I, I had a little bit of a heart attack. I'm like, no way power went out already. Um, but yeah, so this could potentially get more flooded now. Uh, again, it's higher over here, much higher over here. Uh, we'll see if these pumps get inundated uh, with water, because um, that could be a problem. Um, but hopefully, uh, our local um, river district, they call it. It's our water management area. Uh, they open different locks and gates on these canals that we have in South Florida to dump a lot of excess water. Hopefully they're doing that. Um, I pulled out the uh, baby tortoises just because I think the amount of rain and I just didn't want them getting inundated with the rain. But let's have a look at the main pond. We're going to have to get Colin out of here. Okay, so Colin, we're gonna, we're gonna do everything uh, in the next video. You're gonna see me doing a lot of work, friends. So it's, it's really gonna be a challenge for me. Uh, but the good news is right now, this pond, after a few days of rain, uh, but has not filled up. Uh, we still have plenty of room in the pond. So that's good news. Um, that means that I can take some more water. Um, but, I don't know how much, you know, it is about 10 o'clock in the morning here uh, on Monday morning, October 7th. And you can see just a steady rain has been falling all throughout this video. It does not, they say uh, it is not going to stop raining uh, until Friday. So that's with the hurricane. So right now, this is the low, this is the uh, low pressure system preceding a hurricane. It's a totally unrelated system. It's just bad luck that we have a big hurricane uh, spinning out in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, so that's the uh, situation that I'm dealing with here at the camp. This is serious. This one I'm actually, you know, a lot of times you guys ask me how was I doing and I'm very relaxed because, you know, they've gone uh, away from us in the past. Um, but this is, this is a, a concern because this one, 
well, they don't know the track yet. They don't know if it's going to, it's basically, there's a hundred, maybe 120 mile range at the moment with the cone uh, that this hurricane could potentially hit. Is it going to hit down south in Fort Myers or is it going to hit north of Tampa? Um, if either of those tracks, I'm going to feel something. So I have to prepare. But if it hits Fort Myers, we are in trouble here at the camp. So uh, keep us all, everyone in Florida. We just got done with Helene um, up in the Big Bend region. It was really, really bad, the destruction there. Um, so the whole state now is under a hurricane threat. Um, it is the price I pay to live in, in a place that I can keep these animals. Um, that's why I'm here. I'm here because I love the animals. I love keeping them outside. The weather is generally good, but to live in Florida, you gotta be tough. You gotta weather the storm, as they say. You gotta make sure uh, that you have a fortitude about you because guys, I may be in for one hell of a cleanup and you guys are gonna be in for a lot of videos just showing, um, showing me doing that. So hopefully, um, you know, the prep goes well. You guys will, will see uh, what I'm gonna be doing but uh, it's super stressful. So I'm gonna leave now. I uh, just wanted to show you kind of what we're gonna expect here with Hurricane Milton as it makes its way towards us. Please lock it in here uh, to the channel if you are interested in finding out how we're all gonna do here. Um, I appreciate your concern. I appreciate all your well wishes, your thoughts. Uh, and and uh, yeah, hopefully it's, um, hopefully the camp's able to weather this storm. It's been a while. Things have grown in quite a lot. We haven't had a hurricane to thin them out. So uh, that's what nature does. Uh, hurricanes are an incredible uh, source of, of power in nature. They're the most powerful things on the planet and um, they're not to be messed with. So if you guys have not prepared or you live in a hurricane prone area or you're gonna be experiencing Milton, let me know in the comments below, but also take care of yourselves, be safe, get out of danger. If you're under a mandatory evacuation, make sure you evacuate. It's very, very important you heed those calls. All right, everyone, I got work to do. We got another video coming your way about the prep. See you soon, take care.